This build wasn't necessarily recommended to me, but was created by my chat during a live stream. Goo Bomber Specialist with the wrong gear mods put onto it, and Overcharger, the overclock that everyone still can't believe is in the game. What Goo Bomber Specialist does is turns your charged sludge ball into a trail that gets fired out, covering a good amount of area, making it really good for crowd control. And Overcharger, a overclock I have actually never played with before, allows your charge shots on the EPC to do more damage, and have a bigger AoE and more AoE damage. But now, each charge shot costs an extra 2 ammo, and the EPC has a longer cooling rate. How will I do paired with an overclock I've never used before? Well, you'll see. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Alrighty. Get out of here. Well, we, we killed a Praetorian coming in. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I was just sitting here like thinking should I oh yep yeah I was just sitting here like hmm wait, sh should I do this video should I should I do this video this build kind of kind of sucks sucks ass <laughs> holy shit jetty boots okay the game has changed <laughs> never mind I may not be using magma core to cheat but I at least got some jetty boots <laughs> yeah no I was just sitting here like hmm should I should I play this I kind of I kind of don't want to <laughs> I kind of hate this build. For those of you who have missed it in my live stream, this one, um, this build was the absolute worst thing I've ever played with. I never played with Overcharger, not once, ever. And I even forged it and I never tried it. Mainly because I was a, a, a wee gunner main back in the day. So when I started playing the other classes, I just completely forgot that I forged the driller, this driller OC. But now that I'm actually playing all the classes, Someone's calling me. Hold on. All right, cool. Christmas gifts ideas acquired. Anyways, back to what I was saying. What was I saying? Now I can't remember. <laughs> my sister messed me up. Yeah, and my live stream was absolutely like, ugh. I hated it. I absolutely hated it using this build in my live stream. It was no, no bueno, no fun. So yeah, no, I, I never used Overcharger ever. Uh, not once since I forged it as playing as Driller. And I used it in that live stream and I hated it. It feels like Overcharger should just be a clean overclock or hell, even a balanced one. But who knows, maybe it'll actually be a lot better now that I'm just playing without the, the, the three other people. <laughs> I was playing with three other people. I thought I just heard a detonator. Wow, that actually does do a lot of damage, huh? Interesting. Uh. This still doesn't feel as satisfying, though. But whatever. Come, guys, come. Die. Die to the sludge. <laughs> I could set this on fire, I just realized. Can this? Can these boots set the... I guess not. Ow. These Mactera are going to be the reason I die. Ah! <laughs> I didn't know you got friendly fired from the overcharger. Okay. Spread. Spread the fire, little one. Spread the good. Ow. Ow. Owie menace! What am I doing? I got hit by that exploder and I got hit hard. Run! Red sugar. That's an inside joke between me and my friend. Just one time. Oh god. No, he shot my shot. One time we were playing a mission way back and we were fighting the dreadnoughts and we weren't really good. And he he just goes red sugar, and then the dreadnought spawned in front of him. He just goes ah! And ever since then, whenever we say we see red sugar, we just say that that menace is being, as his name implies, a menace. Damn it! I I hate I hate thin containment field on this build, <laughs> especially for this menace. Get out of here, God. Anyways, now I lost two revives. Damn it! I only lost those because I was being stupid. That's the only reason why. Which I'm always being stupid, but shut up. <laughs> Every time I fire the sludge pump, it just feels like someone is right next to me and it's just holding my mouse. And it's just like, nah, -uh. 
You're not allowed to shoot this properly. Nah. It just feels like someone's standing there next to me. This like presence, this ghost. Get the hell out of my house. I'm gonna get all the resupplies. <laughs> So I can make this a lot easier. Hopefully I do this in one try. Someone in the, in the live stream was just like, how many tries would that take you? And I was just like, I will show all the, the, the failed attempts. So hopefully I don't fail. Nope. God dang. Everything is just shoved into this one cave. Cave leech. Nope. That was a lot of sploders, dude. What the hell? Well, wait. Yeah, I heard that coming down. I was like, I'm probably going to die to that if I fly over there. Where am I? Where where am I going? Oh, here it is. And just like that, I'm almost out of ammo. But this is why we get Nitra. <laughs> Who remembers just doing that on the Dreadnoughts when this first came out? I remember how broken that was. That was so much fun back in the beta. Now it doesn't do that anymore. Oh well. Let's get these hooked up fast. Lloyd. Or I mean Bosco. Build that. Cool. Just drill a little bit. Cool. Let's take this other one. Damn you. Stop using this to your advantage. Oh, Brittorin! Uh, wait. No. Give me this. Ah, anyways. So, speaking of stuff that's really hard to, to complete slash do, uh, me and my girlfriend have started playing Dark Souls. And that's been really fun so far. Though I completely forgot just how hard the game was. It has been exactly two and a half years since I have actually played Dark Souls 1. Or at least since I last replayed Dark Souls 1. I remember I used to love playing Dark Souls a lot. Now... I just play it on a, a natural, like, special whim when I want to. Oh wait, is this Swarmers? I got, I got busy talking about Dark Souls. Yeah, it's Swarmers. <laughs> wow, I'm just getting lucky, huh? I just spread all this around. La la la. Yeah, I just got super lucky with one of these swarms. You know what? Bosco, start building this while this is happening. Almost through the wave, guys! Oh my gosh, and Bosco's just completing the second the second row. No way! Oh my gosh, this is this was so hard. Yeah, no. So we started playing Dark Souls, and the last boss that we fought was the Moonlight Butterfly. One of the bosses that I kind of got stuck on though was the Gargoyles, mainly because I just forgot that you can just hit one of their tails and stun them for a bit, and they just keep wailing on them. But it's really nice to go down memory lane and replay a game you haven't visited in a while. It's really nice, actually. We're gonna play the entire series, too. We're not just gonna start uh, start Dark Souls and end there, but I cannot wait to show her Dark Souls 3. It's gonna be so good. I cannot wait to show her Gale, the Slave Knight. It's gonna be good. That actually doesn't do that bad, that bad of an amount of damage to the grunts. Wow. There we go. I mean, that does deal... It looks like it... Oh, okay. There you go. There's the damage I was looking for. Okay. I was like, it does look like it's dealing decent damage, but it looks like it's getting affected by the armor. That's what I was going to say. I wish the damage would clip through the armor. Like, it would have built-in armor breaking. Kind of like how they added that for the Zukov Nukies. Gas recycling. That'd be nice. That would make this actually feel like a lot better. I guess it's... Decent against the grunts and sometimes the slashers, but just on the the bigger boys, it just does not. I wonder if the oh wow, actually that did a that did a lot on the Praetorian. Okay, huh? Uh, now now let's make me think. I wonder how good this actually would be if I built it properly. Hmm, that's got me thinking. I might just try try this out. I, I want to see. Yeah, and they're all sploders. Now they're all dead. <laughs> now that I've gotten used to the... Well, I think the main thing is is that I'm I'm on a one-player Hazard 5 
rather than four player like on my stream. And I have all this Nitra that I can use myself. I have all these resupply pods that I can use myself. So I'm just like, this is a lot better than the stream because I'm just playing by myself and I have a lot of ammo. But I've also gotten used to the slow firing of a sludge pump. I usually always take the faster firing speed or charge speed. So that's what I w was not used to, but now I'm used to it. So hmm. I think the biggest help to this build, though, was the JD Boots. Hello there. Hmm. It looks like there's damage fall off, too. I completely forgot that was a thing in in video games like this. There's there's damage fall off. So when it, they get hit directly with the plasma ball, it just it deals a, a lot of damage. But at specific ranges, it just doesn't doesn't deal a lot, whole lot of damage. Hmm. I'm learning. Am learning. Nice. Oh, there's a detonator. Okay, well, here's the real test. That's not fun. That's not really cool of you. Uh, it's not cool of you, detonator. I need to launch this rocket. Chads never leave behind the detonators. They kill them. That is actually doing a lot of damage to the detonator. Surprisingly. There you go. Nice. Well, cool. We beat it our first try. <laughs> oh, no. Go. Drill. Drill. Get me up here. Woo! <laughs> okay. Now we have officially completed it first try. Wow. I'm just saying this right now. The Jetty Boots carried that so hard. Just, oh, man. Okay. So um, I've learned a few things about Overcharger today. And now it makes me want to try Overcharger out, but built properly instead of whatever Holy Thunder King gave me in that live stream. <laughs> nice though.